So I'm going to give an overview of the live low latency streaming solution uh, used in Prime Video called Sci. Uh, Sci uh, provides a low latency and it's a non uh, segment based or file based and non caching streaming solution. It's run over, over UDP and uh, uses retransmission for lost packets. Uh, SAI so also provides synchronized playback uh, across the supported devices. And uh, we do this by uh, sharing uh, time between all the devices and nodes. And this way we can uh, achieve uh, frame synchronized uh, playback. Uh, we believe we provide the high quality based on how we do bandwidth estimation to uh, estimate the available bandwidth in the client connection and the quality of the link and uh, that way we can uh, stream the highest possible bitrate each at each given time uh, we also support broadcast features required for running major events uh, as winston winston and manish mentioned and uh, it includes then the ability to scrub back in time and also to uh, deliver personalized ads um, the SIRE architecture is quite different from HTTP streaming, and uh, we provide software uh, at all the stages where we do, if we go from the left to the right, where we pick up the sources from the content acquisition partners uh, of the encoder, and then we contribute it up to the different AWS regions for redundancy purposes, and then we do content contribution uh, distribution to the CDM partners POPs. And at the edge of the pop, we do the client streaming to the devices we support. Uh, and at all these stages, we provide the software uh, that we actively manage the streaming. Um, so all of the software is based on Docker containers that we uh, deploy at all these uh, different places. Uh, SI also includes a control plane to handle configuration and provisioning and monitoring. Uh, it also includes a, a load balancer, uh, which then selects uh, different edge nodes to serve a requesting client. Uh, this then interacts with the CDN load balancer and Manish just spoke about. If we look at the uh, how we achieve low latency, uh, so SI uh, is a fixed latency or fixed delay. It's configurable, uh, but once it's set, it, it never uh, drifts. Uh, so we configure the latency from where we pick up the sources all the way to the client. And this uh, configured delay is then used to do uh, retransmiss retransmission of lost packets uh, between server and server, but also then mostly between the server edge and the client, uh, since the networks are fairly good in. AWS and at CDNs. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we do frame synchronization. Uh, so all the devices uh, shows the same frame at the same time. And we do this by distribute time to different nodes in the system and the clients. And this way, we uh, all, all the nodes and the clients share the same notion of time. And then we can tell the clients when to render a frame. Uh, and so it, it's synchronized, but it also fixed delay. So with this, uh, when you configure the delay and we provide the synchronization, once you start the session, if it lasts for five minutes or five hours or five days, it will never drift and, and perform frame synchronization. Uh, the actual client streaming, uh, so, um, we distribute the, the entire ladder configured in the encoder uh, between server and server. Once that hits the edge, we do adaptive streaming. And uh, we adapt the uh, bitrate based on the feedback on the client. So this is real-time uh, server-side ABR. Uh, and, and the reason for us to have this on the server side is that we support a lot of different type of devices and we don't we want to decouple 
uh, QoS and heuristics uh, parameter up, uh, updates without uh, depending on doing firmware or app updates. So we can do this on the fly, server side, uh, when we think it's needed. Uh, we also uh, continuously uh, provide metrics from the client and the server. So this is by direct bi-directional uh, protocol. And uh, this way we uh, have a very good understanding of the client connection uh, when it comes to round trip, packet loss, and uh, other uh, metrics that we need in order to make the server side decision as good as possible. Uh, when it comes to the feature add-ons, uh, as mentioned before as well, uh, we support time shift and that, that enables you to scrub back in time. Uh, so uh, we record the, the live stream uh, to an S3 bucket, and then uh, we interact with the CDN partners infrastructure, uh, in this case, then the HTTP cache for the non-live uh, recorded content. And when the client scrubs back in time, the edge server then requests these segments of the cache from the CDM partner. And then we convert that record content into UDP uh, for the client. Uh, we also support uh, server-side ad insertion, dynamic ad insertion. Uh, since uh, everything is synchronized, uh, the ad break will happen at the exact same uh, point in time for all the site clients. Uh, so there is no natural distribution of the ad break uh, as it could be perhaps for HTTP streaming. Uh, here, everything happens at the same time. Uh, so in order to uh, save time, we preload stuff uh, and we start by preloading ad clips uh, in between the ad breaks. And when the client connects, uh, we receive uh, from uh, Prime Video uh, backend uh, a playlist per client session. And this playlist represents in what order and what clips we should splice in when the uh, scatter trigger comes in the stream, when the ad break starts. And then we seamlessly splice in uh, the ads in the right order for that specific session. Yeah, uh, that was a quick overview of Sai. Thanks.